हे माई नेम इज हैप्पी आई हेल्प कैंडिडेट्स इन डॉट नेट इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन इन एनी इंटरव्यू इफ यू हैव एनी कन्फ्यूजन इन एनी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन देन पोस्ट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड आई विल मेक एन वीडियो ऑन इट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस क्वेश्चन This is a simple question but interviewer may ask you if you have 0 to 2 years of experience so the let's quickly go through it first one is while loop here is the code block so in while loop we have this while keyword and how the it process it will first initialize the variable and then it will set the condition for the variable and then it will increment the variable one by one so that is the while loop and the output we will expect is like it will print from here first it will print 0 1 2 3 4 and until 5 because it is less than 5 so at 4 this loop will stop and it will come out here so this is the simplest one the while loop now the second loop is do while loop and here is the code of the do while loop the only difference between while and do while is the statement is inside this do will must execute first time irrespective of this while condition whether it is true or not whether it is true or false this statement inside do will execute at least one time so if you will see the output so as i said the same has been mentioned here the statement executes at least one time irrespective of while loop and the output will be like this do while 100 so this has been executed even though this j value is 100 and 100 is not lesser than 10 so even though the first condition is false still the statement inside the do has been executed one time so this is the do while loop and it is and the rest of thing like initialization will be hap happen at the top then uh, the condition will be here and the increment will be inside the loop so all these are same as of by loop next we have is for loop in for loop this is the way we write the for loop and in this initialization condition increment all will happen along with the for keyword only so in while loop all these were happening at different position but here at one place only so the advantage of for loop over while loop is the number of lines of code are lesser in for loop so here is the expected output i think you know the output it will print from 0 1 2 3 4 that is quite expected the next type of loop and which is very important and very much used in dot net is the for each loop see the code here so this is one of the most used loop in c sharp and mostly it is used to iterate the collections collections like array array list list hash table all these are iterated by this for loop for each loop only now in this loop there is one benefit that there is no initialization no condition and no increment is required as it is required as it required in for loop so this is the advantage of this for each loop now this is the output and it is very much expected this 10 20 30 40 will be the uh, printed in the output so this will be the result of the for each loop uh, i hope the main loops in c sharp are clear to you now uh, if you have any queries about this question or the loops then let me know in the comment section and i will try to reply soon